What is going on team? Welcome to today's vlog news chill out time. The time where you sit back on your sofa and just enjoy the next 10 minutes, right? If that's what this is for you, then please do smash that like button. And um, without further ado, roll the intro. Bog roll? Um... I haven't really talked about the new intro. Uh, I hope you guys like it. It was just a couple of clips that I threw together and I was like, yeah, oh, that's a pretty cool soundtrack. Here's a load of athletes smiling. Just gets the people going. Just gets the people going. It's Team, it does feel like a long while since I did a news video because it's been a long while. And today I'm just gonna cover a couple of things that have happened in the CrossFit world and a couple of other things that have been, you know, like I've enjoyed slash not enjoyed that this news came out. Ketchup was voted better than brown sauce in a bacon sandwich. Outrageous. Bacon sandwiches, brown sauce all the way. One of the culprits that would have voted for tomato sauce. I'm not really a fan of brown We're sauce over. though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. To be honest, I don't even know if brown sauce is a thing in America. Is it a thing in America? But let me just put it to you straight, world. As straight as it can be for CrossFitters. So I'm gonna put it in a CrossFit sense because everything that we do, we relate to CrossFit because we're CrossFitters, CrossFit. CrossFit. Red sauce. It's like me at CrossFit. It's okay, it's reliable, breaks every so often. We'll get you through a workout in a, in a bacon sandwich. Brown sauce, it's like Matt Fraser, on top of its game. Tasty, smooth, no. looks good. Gives you that twang, that fire, that like, I want that bacon sandwich because it's got brown sauce in it. Anyway, we've had more of the Hustle products delivered. This is one of them. Whoa, yeah, sick. And these joggers are the others. But we need your help, yes. The top row are one, two, and three. The bottom row are four, five, and six. Put down in the comments below which hat is your preference for future releases. Giving you guys the power to vote. You're kind of like a hustle made council. And speaking of council, Eric Rosa a couple of weeks ago at the community town hall broke the news that CrossFit had created an athlete advisory council to get the insight and input from athletes on a wide range of issues affecting the sport. And on that council, we have two-time fittest woman on earth, Arnie Thorostarter, CrossFit game athlete, four-time regional athlete, five-year CrossFit coach, Meredith Rue, eight times CrossFit games athlete, Neil Maddox, and eight times CrossFit appearance, James Hobart. These athletes have a lot of experience within CrossFit and have been through it through a lot of change and a lot of growth. And honestly, having a council in place is gonna be awesome for the sport. They can give an overview for all of the athletes and put their points forward in terms of judging, scoring, appeals, give an athlete's perspective on any changes that they're gonna do in the future in terms of the rule book. And they'll have a say in the future competition format. As we know, Dave Castro was talking about it. He wasn't super happy with sanctionals, but also he doesn't wanna bring back regionals. So we're probably gonna see a change of format in the next coming years, and they'll be 100% a part of it. They're the voice of the people. And since last time we actually came on the news, Annie has had her baby and she is already in training. Fast at running. Frederick's daughter, 20 years time, hey? That video, I love that video. Three times CrossFit Games winner, well, you never know. In other news, a workout that took my fancy on Instagram was Dan Bailey's 100 Clean and Jerks at 135 pounds, 95 for women, for time. Dan Bailey is one of those people that looks like he's in a muscle suit. Constantly. Do you know what I mean, Jazz? I reckon when he's 65, when I reckon when he's 65, he's gonna look exactly the same. Yeah, true story. He doesn't age. No. His body doesn't age. <laughs> Another bit of news, CrossFit is getting injured. Wow, what a shock, eh? What a surprise. No, us? No, no you be silly. Our friend Scott Britz went to go do a bar muscle up. There was a bar behind. This is more of like a warning, don't do it yourself team. But one of us will, eventually. Now, not only have I asked you the opinion on the hats, oh, I also want you to answer this question. Which team would you pick? One, two, or three? You can never count out Matt. You can never count out Tia, she's a winner. Alongside Set, that's strong, strong with Cole. But then team three looks like it's got good consistency. Like. Yeah. I mean, whole taste so good. Always the, the dark horse that nobody really shouts about. That's how I'm gonna pick my team. Jazz pick team number two. Yeah. Do you agree? Now the CrossFit Games is less than a week away. Athletes have been getting their drugs tests. So far I've seen Hayley Adams, Amanda Barnhart, I saw Noah Olsen put one up. 
Jacob Hepner, and all of us at home over that weekend are probably going to be like this at our TV. We got an update the other day from the CrossFit Games telling us where and when we can watch the action. Now, it actually doesn't say if it's live action. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with the viewing. I don't know if all athletes are thrown down at the same time. I don't know if they're thrown down at specific times. Through reading through it all, I probably missed it, but it it would seem unfair to me if Kara had to throw down like she did at the Rogue Invitational at 3 a.m. in the morning. I hope they do something along the lines of they have to do it at a specific time on their day. But we get to see the highlights or the catch up or whatever happened at these times. So I'm 100% sure that most of you, including myself, are going to keep these free. Friday's going to be a late one for me. <laughs> 2 a.m. in the morning. I struggle to get past 10 p.m. at night. Whew. The show will be hosted by Nikki Brazier and Sean Woodland. And looking at the field of athletes, on the male side, 16 out of the top 30 males are from America. Although alongside that, 24% of athletes of the males are from Canada. So around 75% of the field are just from America and Canada. Bit of a contrast on the female side, only 12 of the 30 females are from America. So like what? I can't do quick percentages. 40%? 35%-ish. And a couple of names that are going to be of interest and people to keep an eye on is one, Roman Krennikov on the male side. He's obviously not been able to go to CrossFit Games that he's previously qualified for due to visa issues. <laughs> now he's technically competing. And if you're British, you've got to keep an eye out for David Sharonke and Sam Briggs. The only male and female to make it from the UK to this CrossFit Games in this format. We actually caught up with Carm Porter the other day and he said this about how his training's going and how he's feeling about the CrossFit Games. I don't know, like it still seems almost weird that I'm competing next week. But then that said, when it kind of became apparent that we were definitely competing, I was like, all right, let's like knuckle back down and started training pretty hard. And I'm like, I'm firing. I don't know if I've ever been this fit, like strong, skillful. Like I feel so good. It's almost weird. Here, Khan, I've got your question now, right? Yeah, go. Are you going to make the top five? Yeah. Who else? Is, who are the other four guys? Now, nah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's honestly it's so weird. Like, I was thinking that at first I'd like completely discounted that from even being a possibility. And then like I've just been really vibing in the gym the last week or so. And then it's like, fuck it, why can't I? Like, I, I could make it if the, if the workout's... You know, and I hate saying this because I know it's not supposed to have not supposed to have anything to do with the workouts. But you know what? The workouts fall in my favor. Get a get a cheeky long row or something in there. I don't I don't think that I'm I'm not a chance of making it, if that makes sense. Now I might that might bite me in the ass saying that and come back and I finish like fucking thirtieth. But you know, so be it. I know I feel good and I'm going into every single event next week to just absolutely send it and go as hard as I can possibly go so like why not put the top five as a possible koa has not stopped licking my leg this entire khan one of my favorite athletes just super cool dude to talk to we did like a full interview with him that i'll put on this channel in the next couple of days talking about his studies talking about his rituals it was it was a good one but anyway to end today's video the third thing that i want you to put down in the comments below is your top five males and top five females for the CrossFit Games. Who do you think is going to make it through to the finals? I was going to do it on this video, but I feel like I've talked a lot through this video and I'm going to do it separately on another video so I can talk a little bit more in depth. But is Khan in your top five? If he makes it, he's going to party. But anyway, if all that content didn't make you smash that like button, tear, scare him, Matt. I hope it makes you do it. I love the dynamic between those two. Great video. Thank you for tuning in today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Go tell your friends about us and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Go back and watch the old videos. They'll all be linked down below.